Do you use affiliate links if you have a blog or a website? I'm learning to thrive in the gig economy. Would you like to learn too? You know, this is going to be just a, a short video this week on affiliate links. This week I, I signed up for the eBay Partner affiliate program. And if you don't understand what affiliate links are, uh, let me tell you just very briefly. They're kind of they're kind of like a company giving you a sales commission for sending traffic to their site. Uh, so you, what you would do is you would add, say you were writing on your blog about a particular book that you liked, and you said, "Hey, you can go to Amazon and buy this book," and you put your affiliate link on your blog. Somebody clicks on it, it goes to Amazon. Sh she buys the book. It does not cost her anything extra. But Amazon kicks back a very, very tiny part of that sale to you as a commission, kind of a referral fee. Now, I, I belong to both the Amazon and eBay affiliate programs, and uh, again, you're not going to make a lot of money on it. I mean, eBay's uh, commissions range from like 1% for selling uh, coins, if you have an auction on coins, to maybe 5% on baby products. So I mean, it's not, it's not a lot of money. Uh, Amazon is a little bit better. It goes up to 10% on different product categories. The one nice thing about it is that if, uh, if somebody clicks on your affiliate link and goes to Amazon or goes to eBay from your blog and then decides not to buy that product, instead clicks to another product, you'll still get an affiliate commission for whatever products they end up buying. So for instance, I think I told you about this one in a, in a video a while back, I have a review on one site that is about a comic book collection. And the person clicked on that to go to Amazon, they could have bought the, the collected works of that particular comic book. They didn't. But what they did was they bought two other books after looking at that one. So I got the commissions for those two other books instead of the one that I had even written about. So there's a big benefit for that. Uh, you know, if you, ha if you have affiliate links or if they, you think a video like this is helping you, please hit the like and share button. Now there are some rules on affiliate links. For instance, I know that the, the government says you have to declare them. So somewhere on your blog or your website you have to put, you know, uh, some links may result in a commission. For some reason, and I don't know why, but some of my friends and family are very hesitant to use uh, to click through an affiliate link to go buy something. Because for some reason there's this misconception that if you go through an affiliate link to buy the product, it's going to be more expensive. That's not true. It's the same price. It does not affect the person buying the product at all. All it is is a very, very tiny sales commission to the person who has the link on his website. That's all it is. So, if, you know, if you have somebody who is a gig worker or has an affiliate link on a blog or a website, please use it. Use it for them. It's not going to cost you anything. It's going to give them a little extra coin. You know, it's a little bit of pennies in your pockets. You know, it's not a bad system and it's, it's something that can really help a freelancer or a gig worker. Anyway, uh, it's just a sh short video on something that uh, I, I use, a small amount of money that comes in every month, and uh, I hope to see you next week. Take care.